Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Hog releases own ad, utterly humiliates self with high school mistake. Liberal anti Second Amendment voices have found their new poster boy, David Hogg. The Parkland student turned activist appears to have been given not just the spotlight but the entire stage in the gun control debate, but his sanctimonious tone and weak grasp of the facts keep getting in the way of his efforts to look less like a high school student and more like an authority on gun violence. Hogg, 17, used the Florida shooting tragedy to leap into a role he seemed to have been long preparing for, a new media pseudo journalist pushing an anti-gun agenda by labeling even mild gun owners as evil and condemning every NRA member in America as having blood on their hands. Subtle. Hogg, who was shoving a camera in students' faces for interviews even while the Parkland shooting was still unfolding, just released a video PSA that takes his already condescending and haughty attitude and turns it up to 11. The advertisement, which features the over-the-top teenager sternly lecturing Americans while framed by a stark black background, begins with this blunt and misinformed question. What if our politicians weren't the B, of the NRA? Apparently it's a bad thing that when millions of like-minded American gun owners speak, their representatives listen. With an ignorant lead like that, you know the sanctimony is off to a great start. Try to hold your nose. In the video, Hogg seizes on Trump's rope-a-dope of Democrats, whereby he made them believe he was open to every gun control imaginable, only to draw them out into the light and deny them every gun control they pushed, explained Breitbart News. He then points to Democrat Connor Lamb's victory over Republican Rick Saucony earlier in the week. Hogg suggests Lamb's victory is proof Americans have had enough, continued the news outlet. Here's the problem, even though Connor Lamb is a Democrat and did manage to barely defeat his opponent in a close race, he's not actually anti-gun. At least he claims not to be. Pretty much everybody following the race who's not in high school knew that. In fact, Lamb ran on a Blue Dog Democrat platform of supporting the Second Amendment and opposes anti-gun programs like high-capacity magazine bans. New gun laws aren't the answer to preventing more mass shootings like the one at a Florida high school, the newly elected congressman declared shortly after the Parkland tragedy. In other words, when it comes to Lamb vs. Hogg, is this 1984 Animal Farm? The winning candidate actually opposed gun-grabbing talking points, yet the teenage wannabe media mogul is pretending that it was some sort of referendum on gun control. Democrats are celebrating the victory of gun-loving Connor Lamb in the Pennsylvania special election. What would those student gun control protesters say if they knew about that? Wondered an Investor's Business Daily editorial last week. The answer, apparently, is that they're either too dense to notice, or are actively pushing a false narrative to fool the American people. We used to call this lying. Disingenuous statements and half-baked facts are a bit of a theme for David Hogg. Hashtag what if we could go to school without fearing for our lives? He asked on Twitter, in a post that included the disdainful PSA. You'd think from that question there are killers on the loose on every school campus, which are of course government-run and often controlled by liberals. It's just tripping with fear and bordering on hysteria, but what's the reality? Well, there were about 51 million kids attending school in the United States as of 2017, according to data from the Department of Education. And tragic school shootings? Over the past quarter century, on average about 10 students are slain in school shootings annually, stated criminology professor James Allen Fox in USA Today. 10 out of 51 million. Let's be clear, that's still a tragedy, and we can and should work to make it zero, but this is the statistic that in David Hogg's words makes students stage walkouts based on fearing for our lives. Do you know what kills 10 times the number of school kids every year? Not guns. Bicycles. Compare the school fatality rate with the more than 100 school-aged children accidentally killed each year riding their bikes or walking to school, Fox pointed out. In other words, Hogg and all the rest of the anti-gun crowd are spreading panic to push an agenda. The mainstream media presumably knows these facts or could look them up, but can't be bothered. The truth might get in the way of their constitution-shredding motives. If the teenage media darling wants so badly to play an adult and influence key laws in our nation, then he needs to face facts like an adult, and they're not even remotely on his side. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.